Hi folks, got a nice simple little winter scene for you today, just using a limited palette, or we'll just use the rare raw sienna, burnt umber, ultramarine, and just created a very very simple winter landscape. So let's just dive straight in with this one. I'm going to kick it off with just a, a little bit of water, just like the paper going all crinkly. And then I'm going to take um, a bit of blue with just a touch of brown in it, all burnt umber. And a sort of, just to make a sort of bluey, grey sort of sky. That's going to come down to something like that. Something like that, a bit of an angle, sort of creating like a bit like a hill type of effect. Then I'm going to go into the raw sienna and a bit of burnt umber. There we've got like a hill coming down on that side. With a few bushes and things on it. And then if that comes down there. I'm just going to use those three colours. So I'm just mixing just, just constant variations of those mixes, basically. Like a big tree thing going on there. I'm just going to use my finger just to suggest a trunk. And then there's a few more trees and things going on up here. Um, while I've got this on, I'm just going to suggest a few posts. Just using this card. I'm just going to continue them down there like that. And a few side pieces. Um, let's just darken that because I want to put a, a couple of houses in there. Just gives it like a focal point. And then just simply do that with a plastic card. Um, you've got like a big house there with a nice little roof thing going on. And then just a few little random details in front of it. I don't know what they are, but it just gives, gives the eyes something to look at. I'm going to stick a chimney on it. And then right next to that one there, I'm going to have another one. Chimney on that one. And then if I just darken... Darken that little bit there. I'm going to stick another one just up there, I think. This one's going to be slightly smaller. Something like that. It gives a little bit of detail. Something to ponder. So I'm going to clean the brush. I want to go back to a slightly lighter colour. So I'm just going to give it a bit of raw sienna. Then up there, just got a few lighter bushes. And they're just coming over into that nice white pristine snow. I'm just going to suggest a few little dips and dabs there. What I might do is just take the little Little rig of brush. Can't we just doing a few telegraph poles? And they're gonna be so sort of just just going straight across. Just little bits of detail. That's enough, just stop there, keep it subtle, as with most of it, just nice and subtle. Um, I just want to work out the, which way is the path going there, so we're sort of something like Have a 
there like that. And it's just going to wind up to that. Put it on this side. little path that goes up to the up to the little cottages um, I'm just going to scrape some posts into this so, Sides into this. Right, let's just make sure this is flat. finger in there and just make a few just make a few marks afraid to sort of get your fingers in there and just scuff it all up. I mean it's watercolours, it's not like oils or anything like where you're gonna make a real mess of your it'll just wash straight off so don't don't worry about it. Um Such stronger. I don't want to be too mad with that. What I do want is little man. I want someone just walking up the hill, just very, very small, just to keep the scale. If I can just get him walking.
Maybe just trudging up the hill there. Just walking after the little dog. It's just sticking a few little posts there and there, and then just and sort of shadows going this way, and just, just running some little shadows off of just a little thing that helps create that sort of light effect. Um, just a little bit stronger. Um, Bird up there. I just want to just loosen it up again. I did something. Um, just get a quick wet. Just something, it doesn't quite. Hold it, uh, just leave it up, I think, for now. Give that a quick dry. Just sign that and stick a mount on it. Um, that a right mess of that. Let's stick a mount on it and see what it looks like. So there's our paint in the mount. So if we have a closer look at it. So it's just a very simple sky and then just variations on raw sienna, burnt umber and ultramarine and then the card to scrape out the buildings. Just the three colours, limited palette and then just a little bit of rigor work. To create all these just little bits of detail, very, very simply put in. So we've got our path there, a little bit of shadow down there, give a sense of light. 
as well as the, the shadows that just cast off each post and then just work winds its way our little man there and the dog up to the little cottages there that they live in I didn't want to wet the paper too much because I wanted this distinction between sort of sky and land so you've got blue sky white snow on the land so you get this nice edge and then just a case of just using the corner of the brush to stick in all the, the, the trees and the bushes and, and whatnot. Using just the three colours. And then just a hint of a few shadows here and there on the land. But most of it just kept white for the blanket snow effect. So that's it for that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks as always for your support and all the patrons. Do join me over at patreon.com slash Stephen Crone if you get the chance. 200 odd videos there, exclusive. Plus you've got the community gallery and the um, where you can post your own paintings. So, as always, keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please ask and I'll see you again soon.